never set foot on a sailboat until I was about 22 and I attended a maritime studies semester at uh, Mystic Seaport in Connecticut and um, then we did a field seminar on board a wooden tall ship down in the Caribbean and I totally fell in love. So a few years later I was working on a different tall ship down in Key West and knew that's what I wanted to do. Summer Wind will be my fourth boat that I've worked on, my third schooner. Um, it's much shorter than the others. The other boats were 125 plus feet in length, so being on summer wind at 48 feet is really nice. Sometimes on the bigger boats you um, get a little bit away from the sail handling and the boat handling yourself. You're part of a larger crew, so being able to change things up and get back onto you uh, a smaller tall ship is definitely nice for my uh, education yeah. and I'm loving it. I'm glad to be back for a second season and uh, it's good to be in a brand new spot too. I'm so excited to learn more about the Chesapeake and all the folks that are around here in the maritime history and uh, definitely glad to be back with Captain Tom again. Really great captain and I learn new stuff every day. The first job after I learned how to sail was um, with the Boston Police Activities League, taking kids and police officers out on little 23-foot sonars, teaching them a little bit of sail handling. And from there, we were taking field trips to the Liberty Clipper, which was a, a tall ship in Boston. And I got to be friends with the crew and wound up going south with them. But I'd love to get back to teaching kids. I spent a little bit of the winter in the Caribbean on board a schooner called Roseway, beautiful boat, um, and they run a program called World Ocean School with youth taking them out, teaching them sail handling and um, being brave enough to climb the rigging and navigation and a little bit about what it's like to live as a sailor and it's an awesome program. Um, there are a lot of great educational programs around the country and around the world on board ships and it's an awesome community to plug into. So that's what I hope to do in the future. I love the summer wind, um, especially now with our new rig. We're getting a little faster and a little more maneuverable all the time, and she gets more fun to sail every day. I think my favorite part about this job is that we get so many different kinds of people. So there's, we have had couples on board who are lifelong sailors and, and cruisers to folks who have never set foot on a sailboat before and are only coming out because their girlfriend wanted them to go on a sunset sail and they're terrified and by the end of the sail everybody's having a good time and they realize that you know, we've got a very experienced captain and the boat is very safe and being out on the water is really fun and a great way to end the day and a great way to spend some time with uh, with somebody special but I love being on summer wind and getting to live in a place like the Chesapeake where there are so many different kinds of boaters and getting to meet the folks from Living Classrooms Foundation or we're going to be taking a group of kids out from the Baltimore Ronald McDonald House and it'll be exciting to learn about them and learn what their programs are and meet the kids and get everybody out on the water. Yeah. Living on board uh, summer wind is, is kind of luxurious compared to the accommodations I've had on other tall ships bigger tall ships where you've got uh, 13 folks to uh, 13 crew members to a, a foc'sle they call the crew quarters and uh, also 13 folks to a restroom <laughs> and um, the quarters can be really confined you've got a six foot by three foot bunk for yourself and all your stuff we find uh, really great creative storage options and uh, and I think it's beautiful below decks I hope I wish more people would take a peek down below when they're on board. I was really lucky to have sailing introduced into my life, and it's great to do the same for brand new people.